Okay, hello, Ephesium. Hello, finally, finally, we are again online. <laughs> yeah, and in comments, uh, I got a nice comment, and the uh, the person who wrote the comment was asking about the current events, you know, these fires, earthquakes, I guess, you know, hurricanes actually number three show, showed up recently. Mm -hmm. Third hurricane going yeah, to... Something's going on in the world because we have in, uh, uh, I mean, they always happen these things. We don't want to be all this year, but yeah. uh, we have all these fires that they try to blame the, the global warming and we know what is there, the, the real uh, agenda. Also, we have earthquakes in Morocco, uh, fires in Canada, um, and the, in the, in the, in the, with the Maui's in the, the Isles uh, away. I don't know if it's properly. Yeah. But in Italian, say Hawaii. <laughs> Hawaii. Maui, it's one Maui, of the yeah. islands. Yes. Yeah. And uh, we have a lot of conspiracy theories there that these uh, fires there was obviously caused in purpose from the elites, from these entities, because uh, some people they find out all the the most powerful rich people they have a house, a property like Ofra, like Clintons, Obama, etc. Says that they are lot least they have a, a blue roof. Mm -hmm. To, to tell this is our house. In fact, guess what? The, the house is, wasn't taxed. Well, uh, not in ta yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, even the method uh, of this fire is crazy because uh, the houses, they melted down. But many trees around, they were still... Uh, yeah, it's crazy. When you look at it, at the picture, it looks like Ukraine, pretty much. With yeah, phosphorus bombs and everything Russia used, I, it looks pretty much the same. Burned out. Technology, they are definitely high technology uh, weapons that they use, especially they are like lasers that they know how to use. Some people they capture in the uh, camera. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I mean, we're talking about, uh, first I would like to see what, uh, what, because after the pandemic, they need to find something else to distract us, to believe in all the... Uh, lies, uh, but in a very mm. huge uh, picture, yeah? So oh, the global warming now is the fall of uh, earthquakes, uh, floods, fires, which they mm. always existed, but they want to try to attract a, in, a, in, a, in a very, you know, what can I say, large scale around right. the world. And uh, let let the check, Oksana, go, in, you know, in your deep uh, state and tell us what you see i see they're tr they're just what they're doing um they're cleaning up the room <laughs> uh, they, they call it a virtual reality room much like those i saw in my dream uh, in which um what's what's the name for the um sonia lucido the, uh, um, yeah, lucid dreams. Lucid, yeah. And uh, basically the same idea. So there are layers, right? This layer, it's like, it's kind of like a metaphor. The conference is over analogy, right? And the uh, people are going up to the different level uh, because, because it's time, you know, it needs to be used by other souls. And they got a lot of projects of um, genetically modified bodies, and they need to put souls that are that correspond to the vibrational frequency of these bodies uh, to this level. Therefore, they have to c destroy parts of what we call the world and uh, clean it, clean it. And I already see some bold spots, you know, in the world where they already cleaned it. But but then the major cleanse will come from water. First comes fire, then water washes off what fire destroyed. And that's when the land shift happens because I see parts of land detaching, reattaching to other, and the new continents are formed. Mm -hmm. mm. We might what? not even know in the beginning that the new continents are formed. 
<laughs> because it's going to be kept in secret and um, there's going to be so much chaos that in terms of trying to survive for everybody so they're not we're not going to care about <laughs> what moved where you know but in this sense the dualistic uh, programming also means there's a positive comes out of it because people are going to be more united and understanding more and more that some some other mind controls all of us and we shouldn't be fighting with each other we should rather figure out how to um, get out get away from the control of that something bigger than us in the system we're put in even though when we are out of the system all of a sudden we're bigger than that mind that put us in here and that mind is artificial that's what i yeah of course uh, as uh, we was talking before uh, we start uh, that this is a a, a war between uh, entities between uh, this massive, uh, you know, um, let's say powerful people, co countries. So this is why mm -hmm. Russia, China, India, they want to change the order, yeah, the new order of, for uh, example, the dollar is the the money that is used for many years, long, long time. They want to change this. Oh, we don't yeah. want to use the dollar anymore. And this is a cold war that starts quite uh, for some time, which obviously is coming to the surface. Um, starting uh, uh, starting to destroy Ukraine because Ukraine was definitely the gate of the West, okay. And Putin didn't allow the he, he, does, he don't want allowed this connection. He doesn't want Ukraine uh, to be part of the West, okay. So yeah, and, it's like one of my, it's like a monopoly game, Ephesia. We are yeah. these are layers what we call Earth. Mm -hmm. It looks like an egg, big giant egg. That's why egg symbology is very, um, it's used in uh, different um, uh, ceremonies and uh, rituals, you know, just egg shape and different fairy tales and all this. And they want to, different alien groups are fighting with each other, wanting to yeah. own and control uh, each and every layer. Because each and every layer is like an energy plug-in for their race. So the more energy they produce, it's like people on Earth fighting for a gas supply. You know, the regions that can give you gas, like Saudi Arabia or mm -hmm. Dubai, you know, they're so rich because they can sell gas. Stuff like that, so petroleum, uh, that that's all about a resource. And in this case, resource is us, life souls. But the thing is, where uh, some souls are escaping, and some souls are transitioning according to their consciousness growth, and so they're trying to trap in as many souls on each level, and then they're fighting over which level is going to be mine. But each level is also connected to different um, uh, laboratories with the mutation programs, genetic mutation of the body. Because the body is very important container for a soul. Because it's like, it's almost like soul can do only this much in a body. And, and if you mutate it in a certain way, you can block even more abilities of a soul to create anything. And that's their ultimate goal. It's like in a way, they want us to be complete robotic slaves. Uh, because now a lot of souls are still strong enough to, to, to get what they want out of life. At the end of fight, they they getting what they want. Mm -hmm. um, but then at the same time, there is a very weak souls who sold out, who became agents of the system. Um, and those are the ones who we call celebrities and all this, you know. Mm -hmm. Where they are definitely doing a very interesting campaign, asking for money when they are super rich they asking people which basically if you notice this world this planet is becoming a prison now like never before 
because every single person I know, I don't know guys, the people that, that follow us now, uh, is having a, a problem with money. It's no yeah. money, guys. Everything's expensive. And not because it's not money. It's not because we don't have resources. Because they decide that, uh, no, you have to be completely hung with your neck, yeah? To the banks and to to, the, to be dependable. You are, all your movements is limited. Okay? Yeah, they're guardians, uh, celebrities yeah. and others who basically uh, exchange... Um, you can say sold their soul, but actually they um, they let somebody else to control their soul, their life. I think in exchange for a good life for the body, you know, it's only the body that experience all those villas and good food and no worries. But then a soul is actually trapped life after life. I think they are uh, all the celebrities. They part uh, to be part of Hollywood. All this uh, big, uh, you know, uh, be, uh, showbiz. You have to be part of a it's cult. Like an egregor or sect. You can call it either yeah. way. Cult or, or sect is the same. This is why the, when they, if you notice, guys, when they talk and they always move in, they put the hands with symbology. They wear in something or they move the finger in a certain direction. Because they, this is what they have to do if they want to be in they a certain level. They have to level. worship. They, yeah. They're given certain rules and regulations mm -hmm. how to not to lose their membership to this cult, to this egregory machine they're in. And they have to show in part of the uh, deal here, of the universal law, that you have to show the truth. That's why you have to photograph yourself with one eye closed. And you, you have to secretly tell the world but it's in our faces, basically, that, hey, I belong to this organization. You know, they have to reveal their status. Yeah. I think, uh, like uh, never before, uh, I think I, this is what I sense when I, when, uh, even when I, I work with my clients, I can feel, I can uh, sense uh, this feeling of uh, defe defect, you know, of, they feel defeated. The people is like, we don't know what to do. I, I know there is something wrong against us, but uh, uh, what do we do? What do we do to stop these monsters here? Uh, that they are, this might make you think that you can't do nothing anymore. I don't believe in this because mm. I think that we can still, uh, you know, do something. And uh, doesn't matter if we are 100 or 1000, is the, if you put everybody in intention together, we can. Oh, the truth is they're afraid of us because I see also there's people going to be rising and forming groups and protesting and stuff like that too. Because when everybody's put in a bad situation, you know, you you get to the point you have nothing to lose. And they, at the end of the soul, they are more afraid of us than we are afraid of them. <laughs> So there's always something positive comes from a negative and vice versa. Absolutely. You know, it's just the way it's set up, this game. Uh, guys, I understand. Uh, I'm doing research in quite a lot. I mean, I wanted to start uh, something uh, prior, you know, uh, our, um, with, uh, the previous session. But uh, because I have been uh, doing uh, different things, research and research, and I, I know that even without go and protest uh, to attract the, oh, look, they're protesting, go send like, uh, you know, 20, 50, 100 uh, uh, members of the police and beat them up and put in jail. But if you can use your intention, your eye consciousness, we are a, not a weapon, we are cosmic, unstoppable. And uh, I have the proof. I have the proof when we work with the clients. Oksana, she does things uh, unbelievable because she believes. For people that don't believe, they say, oh, it's unbelievable because you don't believe in your own power. When we work with another client, is yes, my energy is quite strong because I believe in what I do. But together with the client, this, this is where the alchemy started, you know, to bloom. Because together we are, we can heal, we can even create things. You can do anything. I believe in this, absolutely. But when you are three, mm -hmm. four, a group of people with the same intention, but you have to 
believe that you have this inside of you. This many people, they don't understand what it means God. God means consciousness. This is where people, when they go in a high meditation, um, they speak with the high self. Because it's the consciousness. Consciousness is one. We can be billions of people, but we are always one. This is what it means to be God. If God trusts you because wanted this experience, you have to use what he gives to you and to everybody. Okay? <laughs> so we have the tool, but we don't know because we prefer to believe in external forces. That is a big mistake. This is why erase, <sighs> erase all con- our consciousness, through, uh, starting with the children, with this crap school, with this crap... Uh, uh, I feel you know? like can I insert something when you yeah. say God? I see like uh, Santa kind of laughing at me with his big face, like a classical Santa's face. <laughs> and he says, well, you know, dog man, God, it's a dog, it's a man. It's a dog, dog man. man. And then he's like, he goes like this in multiple Santa's uh, faces in front of me. He goes, I have many faces. Da, 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 da. And then I see him becoming Mickey Mouse face and other faces of cartoon characters. The avatars, and some the famous avatars. gods. And, yeah. and it's like, I'm one, but see, I can play every game. And that's how your so-called bipolar disorder personalities switch back and four is different personalities. Ha ha ha! Stupid people. Ask, ask him. Don't like understand anything. Ask mm-hmm. him why people they they still believe in in uh, Santa with, with this man with the uh, with the, the gifts, which we know even the children know that is, you know, basically a fiction. Because without Saturn, this layer cannot exist. It's related to the program of survival. It's deep inside in any mitochondria, uh, in every cell. So you just want to believe in something because we made you made your we cut off, cut apart all your abilities, shut down all your DNA by just putting the body, feeding the body over you, over your energy. So you became this powerless little kids. Who must believe into something that the big man with the beard will save you, even though the big man with the beard is just uh, one of the Anunnaki guys who also all of those gods, it's just all us. That's our group. So, is yeah, that the Zeus, the Neptune, all those? Can you ask if all the gods, every religion that is like he has the same level of him? One God with multiple faces, it's just one God with multiple faces and different star races pretended mm. that they basically showed up as gods. But God doesn't really exist. It just doesn't exist. It just made up, made up. But yeah. because we made it up, we mm. said it to you and we showed you some tricks that we can do but you no longer can do because you're in a physical a cylinder called body and you start believing us oh god he's got so much power mm-hmm. and then we gave different it's like a multi-personality disorder each of my faces is a different god even though I'm one energy and thanks to you, you made me big, 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 ha, 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 big. The, the crazy thing, Oksana, is that we are so, I mean, sorry if I say we are stupid. Or we no, both. he said that you're stupid. Because we charge he started laughing. We are the charger. Basically, guys, we are the charger. Okay, so we are the the source. Well, he the, said the existence. thing is just your belief in gods make me a one very powerful god and i'm against all the universes who are actually like mother nature why do you think mother nature because it's a mother it's a feminine energy it's a dominant creation and i'm against creation i'm a destruction man you live in destructive world 
Can I ask Santa, uh, he and his God and his uh, prisma faces, uh, because I saw for a second like a prisma, yeah, uh, like a crystal mm. with the different faces, ask which which are the moment uh, um, group of, of uh, entities is working with, especially now, who's the most uh, group of entities, yeah, uh, that they use in... Uh, now more than than ever, these kind of uh, beliefs to to be at the uh, to carry on with their plans, to carry on with the agenda, to transform us, because we have a lot of transformism. Especially, they try to change our DNA in any in any way. Um, that, as you know, Oksana, I'm very liberal. Uh, I I'm the person that I I. I, I respect every person, uh, race, uh, orient uh, sexual orientation, uh, even religion, even we know what is the religion, but still I respect the people that they truly believe because they probably need the time to understand. But uh, I realize the, that they're trying to change even the sex now of children and then trying to make, to make you think that is the right thing, which uh, this is a very complex a complex, uh, obviously, uh, you know, topic, but uh, it's not normal uh, because I know people that they truly believe in what they see, they feel their body, but now... Because they're testing out souls who are ready for what uh, layer of reality, mm -hmm. those who are more susceptible to be changed, and uh, have interest in that, we'll put them on this level. Then we introduce another idea with the cheapization or other stuff or changing your body. Some people want to be covered in tattoos, others want to have, be covered with piercings. All of them will have their own virtual reality room where they could enjoy their stuff. Mm-hmm. I was thinking uh, is uh, the fact that they're using the men uh, because they are changing the men as a masculine. The man he has this energy eh, that mm -hmm. is important that we have this man uh, this energy like feminine. And but now they are changing the, uh, the the male energy, female energy because men is more strong than a woman because they know woman as uh, a different. Uh, energy which is but she, she's not strong uh, this is why now many men they are taking advantage people that they don't give a damn about transsexuality because again i have a lot of respect for these people that uh, people that have they have they, they feel you know different in a body but they still accept the biological birth yeah but now they are brainwashing uh, it's not, it's like he showed me there is laboratories, uh, some of them brown, some of them like a star-like shape, mm. and they, what they do is they mix up different genetic material to create different bodies, mm -hmm. and they... The, the, there's an experiment going on when you activate verbally a particular program. So if that body and that soul in that body watches or hears something gi that gives it this idea, you change your body, it would accept it because it was, it was genetically modified before birth mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to actually want it. And for some uh, that were not touched by any manipulation, genetic manipulation, no matter what you offer, they just want to remain themselves. They don't want to change anything because exactly. they, they think, hey, you know, it just, I'm my soul was put in a plastic bottle with the cap. Mm -hmm. When the body dies, the cap opens, I come out. Okay. And who cares if my body had tattoos or this or that, uh, or I had pink or blue hair, it really doesn't matter. I just exactly. leave that junk behind. You know? yeah. So it depends on what you're focused on and what your consciousness level is because some people cannot go further than the physical appearance. 
mm-hmm. and that's their way that's mm-hmm. fine but yeah, they just to have to play their game longer in those rooms that i saw in my dream you know Mm-hmm. But there are a lot of people like they are, uh, they always, uh, you know, they have this, uh, uh, they I respected, but now, for some reason, suddenly, they are forcing, uh, example, even the, I make even pr- in a practical way, I can talk in a practical way, to see a man, uh, obviously you can see that is a man, that he can use, oh, I'm a woman, and he goes to the toilet of where a, you know, seven years old girl is in the toilet, 10 years old, even a woman to see this guy, a guy pretending to be a woman because now they are allowed to say I'm a woman. It's something something weird here. This is why I'm not having a go with uh, obviously with the trans, uh, you know, uh, you know, with the LGB at all. But even them, I love. To, I have a friends, and they says that is not normal because they are making us look bad, and that is not is not fair. Obviously, we need obviously to. Uh, to correct a lot, uh, what can I say, um, facilities in order everybody is happy, but they don't want this. They want to create confusion. They want to create mm-hmm. fights, a uh, woman against uh, men. No, you are not a real woman anymore because the real woman is me. They just give us ideas of what yeah. to be talking about and while you're talking about and fighting over different ideas or Mm -hmm. different opinions they can do behind the stage so much more than you would not even see like and that's why most people right now don't even care anymore about any of this nonsense going on here or there they can play their game if they want to there's nothing wrong with it but the thing is, it, it is a game, and those mm-hmm. who played it too much, it they can care less about all these transformations people do because it's simply like we're getting closer to understanding the body is just a suit. You can change it to suit, you can modify it during life, you know, and then just go back. It becomes a game that some souls like to play in, and we should let them play in this game. Mm, because a lot of times they're forced into a body they didn't want, they didn't pick, they didn't create, simply because they were shut down from alien spaceships or labs, and they were never asked, whom do you want to be, a woman or a man? But that soul might actually, in the body, be not satisfied with the body, so it will change the body. But the, the thing is... Once you pass that level of understanding, it's just a game, but it still hurts and you have physical body and you emotionally hurt, you mentally hurt in this game. You stop caring about all these little games that the different groups of people are playing because ultimately you're just trying to climb out at a different level of consciousness. And once you are, consciousness is everything. Consciousness is the level of dimension you're in. Consciousness is a level and your ability to create for yourself something else. And uh, enjoy it there versus down here. Uh, Consciousness is what makes everything be and happen. So once you gain gain it while in a life and connect as deep as you can, even having the body... You're, you're just very strong that way. You become above all these little games and manipulations going on and experiments and egregor machines people playing. You can care less at this point. You're just like letting them be themselves and do what they want to do. Yeah, I know, but this is uh, what we're talking about, uh, you t- uh, about in etheric, you know, the DNA modification. Actually, it's happening now in a physical, in the physical But that's container. their experimental programs. And if he's a, I mm. see it's a very strong uh, timeline. You cannot change it. It runs in parallel with our timeline. It's and that's why, and, and it's like we're together. It's like our bodies go, imagine like a tunnel. The tunnel is divided into white on the left and 
black on the right mm -hmm. and you're going through this tunnel and it's spinning and it's miss mixing the two timelines therefore you see very extreme dark and 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 light also you see very nice people and super bad people and that's when that's when they do this they're just an um some sort of an age of um like a uh, craziness and when it's all mixed up and squished and destroyed and mixed up and squished and destroyed um there's finally the golden age what they call it the golden sun that i see comes above okay. and, and and through that golden sun our souls can decide should we leave mm -hmm. the body should we stay with the body uh, but all of a sudden you're connected to the sun and that connection what we're looking throughout the lives and that's why we're not satisfied we never going to be satisfied with all we have what was what all we had in life what not only like i'm not talking about materialistic emotional inside we're dissatisfied about everything that's happening because we're looking for that inner connection to the original portal that brought life here to the original earth through the golden sun and then when the golden sun finally regains power, we regain power. But it's not going to be like people say flash or whatever, giant flash and everybody's going to wake up. No, no, no. Some, some souls don't even, they're not ready to wake up, no matter how many times you flash them. Yeah, but it's true. It's true that there is a lot of confusion because obviously if I send my, the children at school, and uh, they teach things that you are completely uh, against. This is why many people, they do homeschooling. I mean, one thing is when people, uh, which is beautiful, when they have this eye, you know, perception mm -hmm. of consciousness, mm -hmm. high consciousness, but not everybody, unfortunately, they are ready. And this is where that uh, is a moment where you, everything that you been teach and learn uh, is, uh, is completely, they are basically put ups and downs. And, uh, and there are the children now that we have to be not only the global warming that is we know that is not real global warming uh, in a big scale like they want us to believe. But so they are change. They want to change the DNA or through, uh, you know, the syrup because we can't even say we know mm -hmm. freedom even to say the word, uh, you know, V mm -hmm. that you have to inject. So you can't because no, 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 because we can block your channel. So you are not free to say this is a, a conspiracy because you are the crazy. Uh, Freedom is now, an illusion at this level. Exactly, it's, it's an, an illusion. illusion. It's not doesn't exist because we are in a in, in, like in a ship. You are in a spaceship. Exactly, roots. and this Babbo Natale, you know, the Santa, yeah. he's running around like... And tomorrow oh, will be another, uh, yeah, will be another clown <laughs> that says, uh, oh, the dogs now, we can be a dog, uh, I'm a dog now. <laughs> okay. Well, he you says that... You have to bark because you are a dog, you have the movement pattern. of the dog GBT, you know, but, I mean, which I am for freedom, freedom of speech, democracy, but uh, we are, sorry guys, but I feel that they are so taking the peace right now, that, yeah. come on. So basically, Fizia, what I see is like Saturn is plugged into Earth to control the Earth through Santa and through believing Santa. As long as everybody believes and makes people, kids believe in Santa since early age, but he's not only Santa, I'm telling you, he's all the Greek gods also. So as long as people learn about them, read about them in the books and everything, this plug-in from Saturn is going to feed the Saturn the energy, and in return that energy is going to bombard the Earth and control the people's minds through impulses, through yeah. waves. The same thing with the Moon. I mean, the more you talk about, that's why they push this agenda, oh, let's fly to the Moon again. And the more you talk about it, the more people pay attention, the more people pay attention, the more energy they give, give to the moon yeah. and, and the, the more energy moon has to control us. Moon cycles, all this, uh, you know, 
uh, women's uh, cycles and I mean that's so related it's like every planet is and now we are we're gonna con to conquer Mars let's give more energy to Mars because Elon Musk is all about bringing yeah, people what is to about Mars. Mars what apparently is a desert is nothing that is all burned what it's is this point just uh, expanding of the uh, laboratories on surfaces of uh, different planets for genetically modified human bodies with souls inside. That's all. We're just conquering solar system in a way. You know what I mean? From Mars, we would want to go to Jupiter, from Jupiter to Venus. <laughs> but it's also like the artificial layers kind of like put in the, on the planets, like layered. And in those artificial layers, they're basically using this and that technology to plug the souls into the artificial bodies and to run experiments through them mm -hmm. uh, and have effect on the planet also because planet gets imprisoned when it gets uh, artificial layers with artificial bodies on it. Uh, but our planet is... Um, trying to shake it off that's why more earthquakes are coming do you think every planet was a sucked up <laughs> drained of the energies mm, and now it, is was, the planet it was layered it? over it was like um you have an egg right with a energy kind of like shell but then you put a, a very hard like um stone shell and you cannot break the stone and that's what the planet feels it feels like it's deprived of oxygen it cannot grow mm. bigger because shell keeps at certain um age certain consciousness level certain you know you cannot expand in terms of energy anymore the same thing like our body um you know keeps the soul in and that's why when the soul is pushed in the body, it feels super uncomfortable. It's like you're trying to pull your hand into a very tight glove. It hurts. It doesn't feel right, you know? Mm -hmm. What about the sun? I, I, somebody is telling, actually, I heard a few people, even, you know, uh, some uh, scientists, they, they feel that the sun is a life inside. It's just the shield of fire yeah, around. But apparently... Mm. Many... There's a golden city in there. Yeah, I've yeah. seen it so many times. And that yeah, is, that's, that's where golden people live, and we came, we came from there partially too. A lot yeah. of people on Earth are sun people, you know, and you kind of call them that person is sunny, and unfortunately, most people who live in South America are sunny. They're but they're suppressed by religion. Mm -hmm. So their sun is shaded over by religious aspect of the moon. That's what I want to say. I have the 70% of different species uh, living there. I got with a pendulum. Um, but definitely there is a different. They are not only one species. Apparently the sun is massive. Oh yeah, I lots, saw him in yeah. lions in there. Like golden kind of like. So it's true Fine. then. It's true then. The is it the dragons that come from the sun? Because at first, apparently, um, this is what's happening in Mars and in in the planet. Apparently, it was the dragons, the you know. Mm, the they kings. have those things on behind. It's like yeah. golden, like hair, but it sticks up like this, curves and oh, they have wings. A lot of them have wings. And and the line tells me um, they they are the same like in uh, Wizard of Oz. So uh, so the energy of the dragons that was the first species apparently that they they had basically they find like uh, you know when you go to a neutral uh, place to fight. So mm -hmm. the dragon was the first to come here to to destroy. I don't know which what was the other uh, um, species. I don't know if it was 
what kind of other uh, was another kind of species they was fighting. But the dragons was the super powerful. It was the basically was the gods. They were they called the gods of you know that and the age. The dragons and the lions. Mm -hmm. There is uh, quite a few of those. But the thing is, I see like that um, Santa is spinning a lot of energies, creating a lot of winds, mm -hmm. and then it opens its mouth and the fire gets out of the mouth and the fires start. And he mm -hmm. can like, it's like a laser thing. But I also see kind of like military, I see metallic discs. But inside, I don't see aliens. I see soldiers in mm -hmm. military uniforms. So uh, the Vulcans are uh, are the, the they was connected with the dragons. The Vulcans they still have a, a a mean here. I mean, imagine when we have a spot in the face, yeah, mm -hmm. and it erupts. Okay, with the materia, is the planet. Mm -hmm. When as these Vulcans that they erupt is because they're suffering, because there is excess of uh, negative uh, materia, I don't know. Because the planet is uh, maybe is uh, suffocated by us, by humans, because we create pollution, we create uh, uh, poisons, and we are creating basically, it's like I want to body eat junk food, yeah? And then you started to have sports. That's what I feel the planet with the Vulcans and with the flood, uh, water retention, with the water flows, fire is, uh, uh, you know, it's like the planet is like a body. I feel like it's a body sometimes. It, yeah, well, the thing what's happening now, I see like um, different parts of the planet are either covered with water burned out and there's just ruins left there and i see huge portals like mm -hmm. like a swiss cheese you know with holes and through those portals holes the beings from underneath the earth come on the surface and I feel like there's weird beings I'm looking at right now. They have this cone hats, hat, mm -hmm. right? It goes like this, and it's like kind of golden and red. Red and golden, and it goes like with the sides up. And they look very much like Sultan. How do you, do you have this word? Um, it's like the kings of the Asian um, yeah, worlds. Yes. Say the, 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 the beards long and the Got red up. and gold. Yeah, yeah. It kind of looks like Santa's outfit in a way. Yeah, it's yeah. like a red, soft, and the golden stripes in the middle and on the cuffs. And, and they're like waiting to come through and to organize their own level because they're tired of being inside the earth. They've been cooped in there like genies in the jar. You know, that's what he tells me. And then there's some uh, civilization of gnomes. And they actually look like the gnomes we draw with a very tall, like, hats, like dark green. Mm -hmm. So, um, can I ask you just uh, roughly how many, how many portals we have in this planet? 118 right now was a different big hole. It's like they're different sizes, but it's 118 right now. And they're planning to do a 210, 210. Wow. So, can you check in Sardinia how many par portals we have? Because uh, I know there is, I soon I'm going to finally visit my mom in Sardinia. And, and, uh, okay, well, there's nine open, but there's 11 total. In Sardinia? Mm -hmm. Can you check in near where I live, uh, Oksana? I live in, in the east coast. You, will, you live in some sort of swirling energy there. Yeah, there's energy from underneath and the energy from above and you're like in the middle. <laughs> yes, because uh, usually we go into this place where we have the Anunnaki. 
skeletons. They mm. call the giant tomb. In fact, I will going to do some uh, videos, maybe lives as well. I'm going to connect even with this guy that he connects with the water. So interesting projects ahead, guys. Um, but yeah, so in this portal, I would like to go in there, uh, even to to make sure if it's possible, shut. You know, inside a portal, shut. Shut the portal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they go through different. I when I, you were talking about it, I saw like they can go to different um, time zones in a timeline so they careful. can go when mm -hmm. people were original people just experimental when mm -hmm. as as they were genetically modifying them mm -hmm. then it's insert new information into those and they create more and more timelines with different outcomes which makes it a crazy thing but everything in the universe is a kind of crazy um uh, energy um bubbles or like 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 spinning and in in that energy if you move inside with your attention you move immediately you see whole world opening like a universe but if you zoom out you just see like energy balls of swirling energy of different colors and that's what we call universe but we are also with swirling energy we are part of it and part of that, part of everything. Mm -hmm. But once I switch my attention, I can be over there, over here, on the, and everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. What I mean is, uh, you think because this is what I, I have to be careful because last time, last time I've been uh, near this portal. I mean, in the portal, basically, we chose a stone, which oh, was so our long. was our spaceship. Basically, I felt like traveling. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. it was with other two friends. But uh, we have to be careful when you depart because uh, you open. We have to make sure that you choose your connection, your channel, and don't allow the other channels to connect with you because they are intruders in our, mm. you know, mm. field. So it's important that to, that to be able to shut certain reporter because it's like I see, like when you go inside, like you know, a funnel. You call fennel. Yeah, 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 tunnel, a tunnel of energy. Yeah. In Buto, uh, in Buto, how you can call? Ah, oh, like like a hole in the ground, yeah. like um, yeah. And burr. then you have a lot, lot, lot of channels. You have to be careful because if you open certainly channels, you basically you, you ask them unwanted guests, uh, yeah. energies, energies to come to your uh, energy, to your frequency. So something attach you and your frequency that can be. Crazy. Oh yeah, they have a uh, very high frequencies there, and they know that these spots are healing, but they cover the spots with those um, uh, like cemetery type, like tomb, right? How is it? Coffins, maybe. Let them embed it into ground, uh, so people don't really go there. Or don't use those, uh, you know, you're not going to like sit around and meditate. That would be kind of stupid. Yeah, <laughs> or crazy. Call, or you're not going to build we, a house. We call the tomba de gigante, which means the tomb of the giants. But yeah. apparently, like the Egyptians, pyramid, well, they're not tombs. They were chargers. This is what the water was under. They mm. needed the water. And we find out in this tomb, we call tomba, it wasn't a tomb. Yeah. It was like a let's say, a charging uh, soul, spirit, because all these entities to, to stay alive, because they are afraid of to die, because when they mm. die, it's finished, finished. So we are eternal, this. because we need another body, another container, but mm. the entities, the pharaohs, they was, uh, they was able to stay alive 2,000, 3,000 years, because yeah. they, they, basically, they, this is why the government of Egypt, they don't want allowed anybody to get inside and study, because they, they find, the people find out, oh, this is not a culture, a culture of Egyptian because the technology was so high that, you know, 3,000 years ago, these people, they don't even know how to, you know, that what was a well and that they can look uh, like that. Oh, so, yeah, we don't know much at all. We're so many hundreds of years away from what they used to be to and have. They, and that time, everywhere in the world, like in the Incas, you know, in uh, South America, Peru, all these mm -hmm. places, all in Sardinia, everywhere in the world, China, 
all these big monuments, basically there was machines to charge these entities, sucking the spirits of the people. The spirit guys mm -hmm. is the part of you that you imagine to do this and this and that. When you sleep, yes. your spirit uh, is basically wandering away. Mm. And the fact that you, the, your spirit is eat, bite, piece by piece, and so you feel your body still getting tired and motivated. Right, 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 right. When your spirit Sucking is tired, this says, my spirit is low today. But some people, they lose the spirit. They become mm -hmm. This is when you is gone. If your body, people in coma, they don't have a spirit anymore. Spirit is kidnapped somewhere. And the, and the fact yeah, that that's why they are just like, it's a personal decision, but for me, you know. <laughs> But uh, this is what so to understand, this place where we go, where are we going? Basically, they are chargers. This is why I feel like I am ooh, the part. Yeah, you can hear yes. the Kundalini yeah. awakening like I had yeah. those electric shocks going through me nonstop. They invited me as well in this, my friend, because she has agritourism. I don't know how you can call it in English, agritourism. You know, this place is in the middle of. Yeah, agriculture. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. People it's can beautiful. At retreats, be basically. There will be a te theta healing. And they says, oh, can, do you want to be our our guests and talk about so why not it's everybody has to express in their ways so mm -hmm. yeah and uh but i, I think with Oksana we covered uh, up a bit of everything today yeah it was a it was a great session Thanks. thank you Thanks. so i hope and that, if uh, easier you're gonna do you're going to sardinia you're gonna do sh short videos and post them on your yes, um, and reels and uh, channel yeah. so you know, guys, you have to go I see it. Uh, the Sardinia is so beautiful, too. So, guys, I'm going to, in my channel, uh, talk a lot uh, about today the power of the water. So, the, the water, we can energize the water with ourselves, without buying things, which is important to have special tools because they exist. But uh, I saw that with the water, you can do, uh, honestly, water is, we come from the water. And, uh, you know, have the water, example, if you, put a glass of water uh, near in your table and just talk with a person, you realize how many negative and toxic energy has the person with the bubbles, okay? <laughs> Look how many bubbles, because we are covered in half, lots of things, you know, all the bad energy went inside of the glass of water. Also, when you drink a water, you give this energy, you basically charge the water, it can become a healing uh, like a medicine, I call the connection from the source, the water from the kingdom of the soul. That is the yeah. our medicine. So, but I will cover up in my channel. So, if you everybody is interested to pop up and visit me, so Sarah, we was talking about mm -hmm. his. Uh, I'll his post a uh, link to her because channel because we're going to do some uh, healing. We're going to do some meditation. I'm going to teach her to use the pendulum. Uh, I would like even um, even say uh, doing some card readings uh, connected with your astrology uh, sign and uh, using <laughs> e e healing uh, as well, uh, you know, energy. Ah, before we leave, that was the question I wanted to ask today. And then we say goodbye. What is energy? What is the energy? And people say, oh, my energy, my baba, but what is this energy? In few words, energy is you and me. That's what first came to me. It's like a charge of creation. You know, creation itself, right? Energy is a uh, like power of us to to move, to mm -hmm. talk. Yeah. The sound connected with the vibration of our voice, frequencies, everything. <laughs> energy is uh, life, and it's always eh? changing. Yeah. So, but is uh, guys, if you can in the Oksana channel, please, because I, I even find the difficulties to upload in these days. My son has to clean up all my PC because I have a lot. Yeah, of... we'll figure it out. I'll send it over to you. Yes, okay, but... thank you. Easy. Basically, I'll send everybody, you the please say in few words what this energy means for you. Every person, uh, write down in the Oksana, you know, comments and. For today, thank you. Grazie. Ciao. Thank you. <laughs> Grazie a tutti. Ciao.